out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we're back. Good filler sports TV in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in, man. Keith Thurman says that. He's not going to fight uh, this year after he get done fighting Manny Pacquiao. Said, it, you know, it'd be time for him to relax. He said it in boxing scene, an article after the press conference with Manny Pacquiao in New York City yesterday at Gotham Hall. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell icon button. We're missing a video. Share the videos, man. Much appreciated. But, um, yeah, he said he don't have no plans. Meanwhile, meaning he ain't got no plans fighting Earl Spence next. All right? He ain't got no plans to fight Terrence Crawford next. You know, he don't have no plans of fighting the fights we want to see. You know what I'm saying? He said he want to get back to fighting twice a year um, and getting that type of rhythm. My whole thing is like, dude, you missed 22 months. And the last time you fought twice in a year, I think it was 2015 is the last time you fought twice in a year. Like, dog, don't you think, you know, you you owe us uh, another fight this year? You know, it's five months in between the July and to the next fight. Even if it's a, even if it's a Devin Alexander type of fight, homecoming fight in Florida, you know, but guess what? That's the mentality these fighters got. Floyd Mayweather set set the standard for dudes to do this shit. But people forget Floyd had bad hands. Ain't shit wrong with Packy. I mean, Thurman. He going here talking about his arm, his elbow. Don't know if it's his shoulder, his arm, his elbow, his hand. You know, at the end of the day, man, like I said before, he about to run off. He about to go into hiding. He warning you in this article. I don't have no plans. You know, usually, you know, Usually guys kind of got an idea of what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when I get done, you know, I want to unify the division. I want to, you know, I want to unify titles. You know, I want to prove that I'm the best. Or I just want to, you know, I just want to get a soft touch and then I jump in, in the, back in there with the gorillas next time. Keith Thurman already warning people, like, I'm going away. You know, I'm ducking and dodging. You know, he didn't come out there and say, I want to fight EJ next. And EJ, been, you know, Errol Spence been sitting there taking, you know, shots at him all the time. He took a shot at him yesterday. We talked about it when he said, don't go into hiding. That's what Keith Thurman planned to do. Keith Thurman planned to go to the Batcave and, and get ghost, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, what do you expect out of out of a coward? You know, at this point, that's his reputation. And one thing I admire about Keith Thurman, he don't care if we call him a coward. He don't care if you call him a, a B-I-T-C, you know, a bastard, a, a punk, a pussy. He don't care. Keith Thurman has been probably, he's probably one of those weird dudes in high school that people didn't mess with. You know what I'm saying? He's that guy that played Yu-Gi-Oh at the table or he was a loner. And I respect that because at the same time, you don't care what nobody think. I'm the same way. I don't care. If I think these Pumas sweet, I'm going to rock them. I don't give a fuck what you think. I didn't wear these Pumas to for your enjoyment or for your approval. You know what? I, I didn't buy this, you know, you know, I didn't buy this, this Silverado or I didn't buy this, you know, you know, I ain't buy this Cadillac for your approval. Well, you know, I don't really like leather seats. Nigga, I didn't ask you if you like leather seats or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I got a haircut because I think it looked dope. Not because now I'm not trying to impress other people. And I, that that I can admire to Keith Thurman, man. Not listening to what everybody say. Staying in the bubble. Not getting bothered. Because real talk, he could have came up on that stage and exploded. You know, like I, he could have exploded like a science project. Like in a volcano. But he didn't. You know, he's he always been pretty much respectful. He know the fans tired of him. But you know what? He going to march to the beat of his own drum. And I think a lot of people, you know, a lot of kids can learn from Keith Thurman in this situation. You know, move at your pace. Do what you want to do, do when you want to do it. Not saying, you know, be the coward part. But at the end of the day, only Keith Thurman know if he's scared of Earl Spence and, or if he's not scared of Earl Spence. But don't have nobody, uh, don't have people push you. Don't have people push you past your pace. You know what I'm saying? Go at your pace, man. If this your pace and, and you and you just want to, you know, stroll at this pace or you like something because you think it's dope or, or you like a particular woman because you think she dope and everybody can't see why she thinks she dope, do it for you. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> the, to back to the backhanded compliments, well, no back, back, you know, yeah, backhanded compliments. You know, Keith Thurman warning us that, you know, I'm running off on the plug twice, you know. So he ain't coming back this year, and then in my guesstimation, he ain't coming back into the middle of next year, if that. So I, I just I don't understand, you know. What, you know, he said we not looking past Pacquiao, and, and understandably so. But like, dude, what is your immediate plans to do? Do you want to have a tune up? Is it the WBA says it's gonna be a mandatory? 
Uh, if it's a close fight, do you anticipate that you're going to have to rematch Manny Pacquiao? Do you want to fight Errol Spence Jr.? Do you want to fight Terrence Crawford? Like, I mean, what do you want to do? What is your what is your intermediate goals? Do you want to get your WBC title back? And at the end of the day, it's that it is what it is, man. Everybody know what it is. If Earl Spence sitting around here waiting for Keith Thurman, he's gonna outgrow the weight class. He's gonna be at fifty four, and he's not gonna fight. But and I said that fight not gonna happen. Earl Spence said it's gonna happen next year. But how's it gonna happen next year when 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 motherfuckers like y'all over there, y'all don't take two fights, two tough fights in a row. You know, and, and, and Keith Thurman not saying I'm coming back versus you next year. So, in all actuality, Keith Thurman going to fight somebody else. Probably a Danny Garcia rematch in the middle of next year. So, you telling us that you want to get the Sean Porter belt and then you want to get Keith Thurman belt. And then you will fight Bud. But then you telling us, like, oh, the Bud fight happened next year. So, at the timeline goal, in my mind, is that Keith Thurman will come back in the middle of next year. Let's say uh, April, May, June, July-ish next year. Okay, let's say Errol Spence have a mandatory, do whatever you're going to do. Okay, he ain't, you know, then at the end of the year, then you fight, then you fight Keith Thurman. So you said the fight was, you know, the, you know, you see the fight happen in 2020 between you and Bud. In actuality, if you get Keith Thurman next year, it ain't going to happen until 2021. So who knows if yo, you know, it, you know, what, ha what, who knows if you get your grown man bone, bone density, you know, your grown man bone density come in. And if you can make 150, 147 pounds no more. You know, keep the you know he worried about chasing the cat and keep Thurman when he need to chase other he need to chase other kings. Don't worry about the pheasant. You know, I know he trying to he figured that I'm trying to get all the bills. Like fuck all that. At the end of the day, if you got to split the pot with, with 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 Bud fifty, I mean fifty fifty, so be it. This is this is legacy right here, man. Fuck the money. This legacy. You know, you can make ten twenty million dollars fighting Bud, right? I'm just saying hypothetically. Not saying they gonna make that much and I make more. But you can fight ten, make $10, $20 million fighting Bud, but guess what? That $10, $20 million have an expiration date on it. Because at the end of the day, you're going to spend that money. But at the end of the day, when you die, you can't take it with you. So it's gone. It ain't in your name no more. But when you dead, when you buried, when they cremate you, when they put you six foot feet deep, hey, man, you know what? Earl Spence, man, he be shit out of Terrence Crawford. A lot of people saying he was lose. A lot of people say it was a 50-50 fight. That fight is ever going to be embedded in the history of, of not in just boxing, but the history of this earth to this day. It's going to be there forever. You're going to have a little, a little yellow, uh, a little yellow Pikachu like Keith Thurman fuck up your legacy. But hey, man, it is what it is, man. Keith Thurman going to keep it a buck, almost a buck. And he said he ain't fighting again this year, and he, he don't know what he want to do next. So it ain't no plans in place for him to fight Earl Smith Jr. And that and that immediate man, that mandatory he got to fight for the WBC. And if Earl and Sean do fight and Earl get that bill, he ain't gonna never exercise that mandatory. No, he not. He ain't gonna want that WBC back. And the best thing they could have did was strip strip Keith Thurman of WBA. That's the best thing they could have did, but they didn't do it for whatever reason. It is what it is. But hey, man, for a lot of people wondering, oh, you know, the Keith Thurman fight gonna happen, man. You better not, don't hold your breath. And that's going to be Errol Spence's valid excuse not to fight Bud. I'm waiting on Keith Thurman. Man, shit, you waiting on Keith Thurman. Shit, that's like waiting on the Greenfield bus in Detroit back in the day. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker didn't come, but every once in a while, shit. By the time you got to walking from fucking Northland, you was going to make it to Finkel and get to the crib. <laughs> you feel me for all my Detroiters, man? I mean, people remember back in the day that guy Greenfield joker didn't run that hard. It run a little bit better now today, but I don't know, man. I ain't been on the bus in years, but um, but yeah, you know it is what it is. If he were he were if uh, Earl uh, steady riding around for Keith Thurman, he gonna be riding on that Greenfield bus like back in two thousand six and seven. But if that's what it is. That's what it is, man. Leave Keith Thurman keeping the buck with y'all saying I ain't fucking with EJ. Uh -uh. I ain't I ain't fighting him, man. I'm ducking and dodging him, Craig and Dede. You two been ducking and dodging me for the longest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He he Craig in Dodo. <laughs> and and Errol Spence is Miss Pearly. <laughs> you know, no, he could be Damon. <laughs> you know, Keith Thurman terrible, man. So it is what it is, man. Everybody knew Keith Thurman's gonna get this Pacquiao fight and go play Os Osama bin Laden, you know, with the WB WBA title. And he's gonna continue to chastise Earl Spence and say, Oh, you number two and all that. Man, shut up, man. Shut up, man. He was a coward.
you know, it is what it is, though, man. It's Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hill Blaze, thehillblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellas one box Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products, soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bad bonds, deodorant, toothpaste, and much, much more. Website, promo code, description. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. Want to make a donation. All those links in the description. Best on that you can make is share the video. Goodfellas Sports TV. We gone.